what your body gotta do. What? Hey, what's up guys, it's Simon back on a video. So you guys absolutely love those Photoshop touch tutorials. So because of that, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a really cool galaxy background, galaxy banner, sorry, for your YouTube channels. So without taking any longer, let's get started. So as always, we are going to be using Adobe Photoshop Touch. So if you don't have this app, the link will be in the description below. Download it, open it up, and go ahead to the link in the description below and download this like banner template. So you'll find it in the description below. Go ahead and just import it to Adobe Photoshop Touch. Okay, once you guys done that, what you can do is you're gonna go ahead and just add a text. You can go ahead and add it using your uh, like text tool. But if you guys would like to get a really professional banner, you can go ahead to the link in the description below and see how to install custom fonts to Photoshop Touch. So go ahead and just add your very own text and make sure you don't put it on those like red area or black area put it on the middle in the safe area so basically once you guys done that what you can do is you're gonna go ahead and just import a galaxy wallpaper so if you go to google images there is a lot of them so make sure you go ahead and just import it to adobe photoshop touch and make sure you cover up the text we're using your very own uh, wallpaper just like that okay once you guys done that go ahead and just uncheck it or just make sure that it is invisible and select the text uh, layer and go ahead and just select the magic one tool by going to the left corner uh, by going to the bottom right corner and just select the magic wand tool just like that and once you guys done that what you can do is you're gonna go ahead and make sure that that is this mod have that plus symbol right over there and once you guys done that go ahead and just basically select the letters of your very own name and once that done go ahead and just make sure that you select the galaxy wallpaper and also make sure, make sure that you put it visible just like that and now hit on that button right over here and push extract so once you hit on extract you will have your very own name with the like, brand new theme which is really really cool as you can see right over here okay once you guys done that you're gonna go ahead and add a brand new uh, galaxy wallpaper so make sure that it is different than the one that you just applied to your very own text so as you can see i have this one so fill it in the screen and once you guys fill it in the screen make sure that you go ahead and hit on that uh, like layers button on bottom right corner and make sure that you drag it and put it below your text layer just like that so from here we can uh, we can't actually tell where is the text which is really really bad so what you are going to do is you're gonna go ahead and make sure that you select your very own text layer and hit on that effects button and select the drop shadow effects and add that drop shadow effect about like three or two times so till you will be happy with it so make sure that the distance is actually set to zero and blur is set to five so as you can see right over here once you are, once you are actually done you will have something like that so at least, as you can see it looks really really cool so another thing that you can do is you can go ahead and just put a brand new different wallpaper a galaxy wallpaper or wherever and put it like below your very own uh, text layer which is right over here so once you guys have done that go ahead and just uh, so go and choose the rectangle selection tool and once you guys done that go ahead and just select this area right over here so once you are actually done go to that task bar on the top right over there and hit on that button right over here and it's going to pop this brand new list so hit on extract and once you hit on extract it's going to actually extract this area and as you can see it gave us this really really awesome results and as you can see if you go ahead and just add a brand new drop shadow it's going to look really really awesome as you can see over here so we actually add some pop into our like second background so as you can see it looks really awesome let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this brand new banner and you can actually use it on your very own youtube channel banner and it's going to look pretty badass in my opinion it looks really sick and if you guys would like to add more effects go ahead and go for it and add your very own effect so i guess that's about for this video if you guys found this video helpful please drop a like down below that means miss a lot for me also guys check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you didn't join me already i'll see you guys tomorrow when one video. Peace out.